Hi! Happy Mother's Day! I hope your kids are respecting you and appreciating you. Okay, I know I posted I was going to do an experiment with Fireline. I still don't have everything I need to do this and uh, when I get it next week I need to practice a little bit before and make sure it actually turns out and uh, we'll see. I think it's I think it's gonna I think it'll be fine I'm just waiting. So in the meantime this is gonna be short and sweet. I've always wanted to try to bead on some sneakers. These are just canvas you know plain old canvas sneakers that I bought at Payless Shoes they're sold all over the world, different suppliers, uh, come in different colors, and I wanted white, and I got white. They're a little too big, so when they're finished, I'll probably give them to my daughter Ashley, who has big feet. <laughs> so the way I did this, I, I started this way. I didn't want to bead directly onto the shoe because I wanted more control. So I ended up making a pattern, and that's what I'm going to show you. Let me get this on here, right? I'm almost done with this side. I've just got a few little finishing up pieces to do. I just wanted to do the sides. Um, I actually made patterns for the front and for the back, and I'm looking at it and thinking about it, and I'm thinking, ugh, that's not what I want. I wanted trim, just the side. The pattern was very easy to make, and actually this is how shoes are made. Um, pretty much just like this pattern. And you just need masking tape or painter's tape. Any kind of low-tack tape will work. And I just taped up the part I wanted to duplicate to uh, bead. And here it is. I actually wanted to bead around the holes just like this. And I trimmed. I used little tiny scissors to trim and get it exactly the size and pattern and shape I wanted. Peeled it off. Taped it down onto my... Well, I didn't bring it in here, did I? Uh, <laughs> my Peltex. Just some, you know, your beading surface, you want a nice stiff surface. This is Peltex made by Pellon. This is not big enough, but this is a piece I have right here. And cut around, and it sticks and everything. Cut around, got my piece, beat it on my piece, and now I'm ready, well, almost ready, to glue it on here. And I suppose I could probably secure by uh, whip stitching the uh, embroidered work onto the shoe, and I just might do that along with gluing. So I'll do, I'm not sure if I should do the inside or not. I probably will. So I'm just going to show you how I take this up super easy, and, and masking tape is very cheap. So just take your tape. And <laughs> I can't get this on camera and tape at the same time. Don't worry about getting over the seams. You're going to just cut that all off eventually. I'll cut off a piece. I don't know how I started. I think I started with the holes. And I just covered up the holes. Tear. Keep taping down using pieces of tape just cover the whole area that you wanted and then I use my little trimmers these little trimming scissors with like really sharp thread snips and I cut the tape off that have nothing to do with the pattern I want and when it's all nice and perfect and everything works then I just peel it off the shoe, put it onto my um, beading surface, which is Peltex. So, what do you think? 
and I made a pattern for the toe and after I made the pattern for the toe and I'm looking at it and I'm th I didn't like it I didn't like the idea. I just didn't think it would come out the way I wanted. I didn't want that much. I wanted, you know, just like a surprise. So that's why I decided to do the side. I don't know what this part of the shoe is called. I'm sure it has a name. I have no idea what it is though. And I beaded around the holes. I left big enough holes that I can get my lacing through. I wanted to leave it white to work with the white shoe. I didn't want to uh, work against the color of the shoe, so I used colors that, you know, were fine with white, which is almost everything. But. And yeah, so when I get these done, hopefully by next weekend when I'm ready to do the fire line experiment. <laughs> Um, I'll show you how these came out. I think they're going to be very cute. The front, when it'll be done. The glue I'll use, I'll use some really strong. I don't have any barge. I'm totally going to buy some, but until I do, I'm going to use just E6000. Yeah, I think these are going to be way fun. Way fun! I don't know about washing. Probably just soak them, maybe? Uh, I know the Peltex can hold up to water, the beads can hold up to water, I used Fireline which can hold up to water, E6000 is waterproof, I don't know, we'll see, I'll try not to get them dirty. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Have a great week. Longer next week. I promise I don't have anything else. This is what I've been working on. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Have a productive week. Own your life. Be responsible for it. Don't wait for other people to do stuff. Take some action.